Hello, and welcome to Family Tree Sagas. We are excited to share the true tales from our own diverse family tree and to remind you that every family tree has its own incredible sagas. These narratives, richly painted with meticulous genealogical research and AI-enhanced creativity, celebrate the legacies that forge our identities. Explore the enchanting Sicilian sagas. Uncover the depths of northern Mexico with the Allende Chronicles and venture into the heart of dispatches from the disputed Texas territories. Each story is a piece of a much larger puzzle, just like the stories in your own tree. So, let's set sail on this journey of discovery together, celebrating the sagas that connect us all. General Sam Houston's Field Command, Camp Near Buffalo Bayou, April, 1836, to the esteemed officers of the Texian Army, Amidst growing unrest, I implore patience and strategic forbearance. Our current encampment, chosen with deliberate wisdom, serves our advantage, allowing us to monitor enemy advancements while preserving our strength. The enemy, under General Santa Anna, remains unaware of our resolve and underestimates the spirit of our cause. Our collective fortitude during this crucial juncture will define the future of Texas. Let us not falter under the weight of anticipation but hold steadfast in our resolve. Victory favors not just the brave, but the patient and wise. Prepare your men, for our moment will arise as certain as the dawn. The destiny of Texas hangs delicately in the balance, awaiting our united resolve. Yours in the cause of freedom, Sam Houston, Commander-in-Chief, Texian Army. Letters from the Texian Camp, A Brother's Concern and Resolve, April, 1836, to Joseph Mansell Coker, Lawrence, South Carolina, Dearest Brother Joseph. As I sit by the dim light of our campfire, penning this letter, my thoughts inevitably traverse the miles that separate us, finding solace in our shared memories, the tranquility of our South Carolina home seems a world apart from the tumultuous heart of Texas, where destiny has led me, each night, the cold of the Texian ground reminds me of the warmth of our South Carolina hearth, a stark reminder of the cause for which I now fight. Our encampment is abuzz with the restless spirits of men who, much like myself, are driven by the unyielding desire for freedom, yet, amidst this, we wait, under the command of General Houston, whose wisdom in these trying times serves as our North Star, some question his reluctance to engage the enemy, but I see the prudence in his gaze, there is a method to his seeming madness, a calculated patience that I have come to respect. I find myself reflecting on the path that has led me here, from the familiar anvil and forge to the uncertain future of a soldier, yet, it is not regret that occupies my mind, but a steadfast resolve, I am convinced that our cause is just and that providence will guide our hands when the time comes. I ask that you keep our family in your prayers, as I keep you in mine, the bond of blood that unites us is my anchor in these tumultuous times, tell James that his jests are sorely missed, and that I carry our family's honor with every step I take. Though I have not taken a wife nor fathered children, I fight so that future generations may live in a land where liberty is not just a distant dream. When I look to the men beside me, I see not just soldiers, but brothers in arms, united by a common cause. Do not worry for me, dear brother. My resolve is as strong as the steel we once forged together, I will write again as fate allows, until then, hold our family close, as I hold our memories. Your loving brother, John, Jack, Coker. War Council Resolution, Camp Near Bayou, Buffalo Bayou, April 20, 1836. In attendance, General Sam Houston, Colonel James Bowie, Major William Travis, Captain Juan Seguin, Scout John Jack Coker. The council convened under a tense atmosphere with the imminent threat of Santa Ana's forces pressing upon every mind. General Houston outlined the strategic situation advocated for continued patience, while Colonel Bowie and Major Kratis voiced the men's growing impatience for action. Amidst the heated debate, Scout John Jack Coker proposed a bold strategy, the destruction of Vince's Bridge to cut off the Mexican Army's only mood of retreat. A moan of silence fell over the council, 
as the weight of the proposed gamble settled in their hearts. The room initially divided, united under the weight of Poker's audacious plan. General Easton, recognizing the potential shift in tactical advantage, gave his nod of approval, marking a pivotal turn in Pepsi and gratitude. The council adjourned, and a course of action now clear, their spirits buoyed by the prospect of decisive action. John Jack Coker's strategic proposal, date April 20, 1836, location Texian Camp near Buffalo Bayou, esteemed leaders. In the shadow of impending conflict, I present a course of action pivotal to our triumph. Observations reveal Vince's bridge, the lifeline of Santa Ana's forces, lies exposed and vulnerable, its destruction would sever their only route of retreat, tipping the scales irrevocably in our favor. This strategy, while audacious, is founded on a calculated risk that promises substantial reward. General Houston, I recall your cautious words, you'll be so close, they'll cut you down, boys, yet, history favors the bold, and our time to act is now. I stand ready to execute this mission, driven not by recklessness but by a steadfast belief in our cause and the inevitable tide of freedom that beckons, let us seize this moment to dictate our future, ensuring our sacrifice paves the way to victory. Yours in the fight for independence, John, Jack, Coker. John, Jack, Coker's diary entry, The Eve of Destiny, April 20, 1836, Texian Camp near Buffalo Bayou. Tonight, the eve of what I sense will be our most crucial confrontation, the camp is a mixture of quiet anticipation and somber reflection, the weight of the coming day sits heavily upon us all, but within me, there's a steadfast resolve that I find difficult to articulate. Today, I proposed a plan that might very well shape our destiny, the destruction of Vince's bridge could turn the tide in our favor, isolating Santa Ana's forces, as I laid out my thoughts before General Houston and the Council, I could feel the weight of every eye upon me, measuring the merit of my words. In this solitary moment, I pen these thoughts not out of fear but as a testament to the belief I hold deep in my heart, that freedom, though bought at a high price, is worth every sacrifice, tomorrow, we may very well step into the annals of history, not as mere men, but as architects of our own fate. To my beloved brother Joseph and to all who may come after, know that whatever tomorrow may bring, my actions were guided by the love of liberty and the unyielding belief in the cause of Texas. If this is to be my final entry, let it be known that John, Jack, Coker stood firm in the face of destiny, with his heart anchored in hope and his eyes fixed on the horizon of a free land. As I lay down to rest, I am resolved that tomorrow's dawn will herald the birth of a free Texas, or it will witness the utmost measure of my devotion to our cause. Good night, and Godspeed, Jack. Def. Smith's Address to the Texas Historical Society Years after the Battle of San Jacinto, near the hallowed grounds where liberty was claimed, I, Erastus Def. Smith, stand before you to recount a tale of unsung valor. Among those to whom we owe our freedom is John Jack Coker, a man whose decisive action at a critical moment changed the course of our history. With the foresight of a seasoned strategist, Coker proposed the destruction of Vince's Bridge, an act that sealed the fate of Santa Ana's forces, leading to their surrender and the birth of our great state. General Houston, wary yet trusting, acquiesced to the plan, cautioning, you'll be so close, they'll cut you down, boys but it was Jack's courage that steeled our resolve. In recognition of his bravery, Texas granted Jack some land, where he and his brother Joseph founded the Coker community, a beacon of the spirit and unity that defines us. This settlement stands as a testament to their legacy, embodying the perseverance and collective dream of a free Texas. Today, we honor Jack Coker, not just as a soldier, but as a visionary, who helped lay the foundations of our state. His story, and those of countless others, are woven into the fabric of our shared history, reminding us that the fight for freedom is paved with the sacrifices of the few for the many. Let us remember, as we stand on the shoulders of giants, to uphold the values they fought for, ensuring that their legacies endure for generations to come. As the sun sets on the battlefields of our past, let us carry forward the flame of liberty kindled by heroes like Jack Coker, 
ensuring it lights the way for generations to come. Thank you so much for listening to this Family Tree Saga. We know your time is precious. Please like, subscribe, and look for more at FamilyTreeSagas.com.